Richard Sandrak, better known as Little Hercules, by the age of eight was considered the strongest human on the planet, pound for pound. Weighing just 80 pounds or a little over 36 kilograms, Little Hercules could bench press more than twice his body weight. Long before the days of Instagram influencers and TikTok trends and even YouTube, this pint-sized iron pumper briefly gained international attention around the turn of the millennium after being unveiled at a bodybuilding competition in Southern California. In 2004, his career was given another boost when he was the subject of a documentary called The World's Strongest Boy. While his sudden fame led him to pull in thousands of dollars a month by endorsing lines of workout supplements, participating in competitions, and doing photo shoots, rumors began to swirl claiming his parents were exploiting and abusing him. Doctors also began to speak out about his rigorous diet and exercise routines, claiming they could lead to serious health issues. Join Facts First as we present Little Hercules is no longer a bodybuilder, you won't recognize him. All Work and No Play Richard Sandrak was born April 15, 1992, in a small rural village in Ukraine. His father was a martial arts champion named Pavel Sandrak, while his mother, Lena, was an aerobics competitor. At age two, the Sandraks moved to Pennsylvania, where they hoped to build a better life. Not long after arriving in the U.S., Richard began his training. Since his father was trained in Taekwondo, he began training him in martial arts while introducing him to various stretches and lightweight training. At age five, Richard was already working out with his father at least seven hours a day, doing as many as 600 push-ups and 300 squats. Pavel and Lena kept Richard on a very strict diet, forbidding him from indulging in sweets or junk food. Instead, they made sure his diet was primarily comprised of protein shakes and vegetables. Their aim was to maintain Richard's body fat percentage at just 1%, something doctors insist is extremely dangerous. According to physicians, a BMI this low can lead to serious muscle and nerve damage, as well as a litany of other health issues, including heart failure. Eventually, the Sandrax moved to California with the goal of breaking into show business. At this point, it's clear Pavel viewed little Richard as more of a business opportunity rather than the young, impressionable child he was. They met a trainer named Frank Jardina at one of his gyms. They hired him to get publicity for Richard. During an interview from this time period, Richard's trainer admitted he wasn't allowed to have any toys at home. Not only that, but the Sandrax never took Richard to the playground and rarely allowed him to go outside. To maintain strict control of his diet and exercise routines, they made sure Richard was homeschooled. The only people he ever saw growing up were essentially just his parents and his trainer. Suddenly Famous as Richard continued to train, his parents incorporated more intense bodybuilding elements into his daily routine. At six, he could already bench press 180 pounds. This feat earned him the title of the world's strongest boy and the nickname Little Hercules. Just a couple of years later, at age eight, he was bench pressing a mind-boggling 210 pounds. Since all of his free time was taken up by training, Richard never had time to play with other kids or developed friendships. In fact, he pretty much missed out on all the usual experiences that define a typical childhood. Sandrak later recalled there were days his dad would eat pizza in front of him while he was forced to eat a head of lettuce. According to his trainer, Jardina, Sandrak was expected to repeat intense exercises as a means of punishment whenever he did something quote-unquote wrong. Although many see Richard's upbringing and the intense training that went along with it as being something he was coerced into going along with, he claims his father and mother never forced him into bodybuilding. Rather, he says that joining in on his parents' training was something he wanted to do and that he always had the choice not to. But then again, since Pavel, in particular, maintained such a tight grip on the flow of information he was exposed to, it could be argued that Richard only experienced the illusion of choice. When he was eight, Richard began traveling around the nation, participating in competitions. He was also handed opportunities to promote nutritional products and do photo shoots for major bodybuilding magazines. Not only that, but he was invited to be a guest on several TV and radio shows, including The Howard Stern Show. As he grew older, however, his career began to take a nosedive. It became increasingly clear that his fame was all based on a gimmick that was inextricably linked to his age and size. Still, he managed to make his Hollywood debut as the title character in the film Little Hercules in 3D in 2009. Jardina Wanted Out Shortly after making his film debut, Richard's longtime trainer, Frank Jardina, decided to cease functioning in his role as trainer and promoter. He made this difficult decision after developing the opinion that Pavel's parenting was criminal. Not only that, but at one point, Pavel even threatened to kill Jardina. It became evident that Pavel's behavior was becoming increasingly erratic. 
Not long after Jardina called it quits, Pavel went to prison for physically assaulting his wife, Lena, in an incident that left her with a broken nose and wrist. Apparently, when Pavel attacked Lena, it was Richard who called the police. By September 2007, Pavel had been released from prison, although he was held under psychiatric evaluation and faced the distinct possibility of being deported back to Ukraine. No longer feeling safe in his company, Lena and Richard left Pavel. The following year, Richard was the subject of the documentary The World's Strongest Boy. The film detailed his ability to do bench presses three times his body weight. Once again in that film, it was stated that his body fat percentage was potentially lethally low at less than 1%. Medical experts have argued that Richard's muscular development could only be achieved with the use of steroids, since children that young don't have enough naturally occurring testosterone to bulk up to that extent. But Lena Sandrak has consistently denied that her son has ever used such substances. By 15, Richard continued to train five days a week, doing 90-minute sessions while eating food more typical of teenagers his age. Without Pavel around to tell him not to, he was finally able to enjoy simple pleasures like pizza. Marco Garcia, Richard's live-in manager, did his best to normalize his life. He was also the one who produced the film Little Hercules in 3D. He went on to make several more movies, including The Legends of Nathia and Assassin Priest, both of which came out in 2012. He appeared in an episode of the 2006 reality series Hogan Knows Best. Wanting to give back to the world, Sandrak has also devoted his time to raise awareness for issues like childhood obesity. He quit bodybuilding. In a 2015 interview with Inside Edition, Richard admitted that he no longer lifts weights and that at a certain point, particularly after he and his mother left his abusive father, he found bodybuilding to be boring. That being said, he said he was still very proud of his past and what he was able to accomplish at such a young age. These days, he does cardio exercises like chin-ups, stair climbing, and even skateboarding. In 2015, he worked as a stuntman at Universal Studios Waterworld. When asked what he wanted to do career-wise, he expressed his desire to be a quantum scientist, perhaps specifically at NASA. The 30-year-old former child star now stands at six feet tall. He might not be as absurdly ripped as he once was, but he's still very much in great shape. No word on whether he's gotten closer to his dream of becoming an engineer with the U.S. space program, but it seems like Richard has a fairly good chance of achieving whatever he sets out to accomplish. Unlike other former child stars, who sadly often end up washed up and hooked on drugs, Richard seems to be well-adjusted, healthy, and best of all, happy. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Richard Sandrak's parents were abusing and exploiting him by pushing him into an unhealthy diet and exercise routines at such an early age? Or do you accept Richard's testimony that he did it all voluntarily? Let us know in the comments section below.